Hey, hey, everyone. Hello. Happy Saturday night. Man. Thank you guys so hello, much for being here to spend the next couple of hours with us. We really do appreciate it. I want to welcome my great friend, partner channel, Mr. Ford Man here, Kenneth Oaks. Also, my other great friend, and may as well be partner channel, Miss Amy with Amethyst Hayes Adventures. Amy, you're on Carnival, what is it right now? The Carnival Pride. Carnival Pride. So how's that going? Yep. Great. It's been a great cruise. It's, it? it's been a lot of fun. Yep. Got to hang out with Dewey and Paro DJ. Oh, no, I mean, uh, Dewey, Paro DJ, Tina, who I know from Paro DJ, Jeffrey Pooler. Um, but the crew has been amazing. The fun spot's been amazing. The cruise director's amazing. Our dining team, wait staff was amazing. Like it's just been a great trip. So that's awesome. It's awesome to hear about people getting to go on cruises and, and stuff like that. And a matter of fact, at the end of tonight's show, I'm got a special announcement, travel announcement to make, uh, for us. We got a little special something getting ready to go on here in a couple of weeks, so I'm excited for that as well. Uh, Kenny, how you been doing, buddy? Been doing pretty good. Good deal, good deal. Um, I just want to say, first and foremost, that thank you guys so, so much. This entire month of, of October, we've been raising money for breast cancer awareness. Uh, for those that know us and know our channel, know our family, uh, when I was in high school, my mom was actually diagnosed with breast cancer. So breast cancer awareness is something that's very important and near and dear to our hearts. And people like Blaine, people like Travis from Dream on Wheels have really, really stepped up and done an awesome, awesome job of raising money for breast cancer awareness. They've actually inspired me uh, to do the same. So I want to thank all you guys that joined me last week uh, in Branson even though I sounded like a pooping dinosaur at times. Uh, the, drive, the drive to Branson alone, when I did that live stream, we raised around $200 for breast cancer awareness. Nice. And then we were in, when we were in Branson doing the live streams, we raised around another $100. So we raised nearly $300 already for breast cancer awareness. So I can't thank you guys enough for that. We're going to continue to raise money for breast cancer awareness throughout tonight's stream. And uh, all PayPal, Super Chat, Super Sticker uh, donations will go to Breast Cancer Awareness. And if you send us a, a donation of $10 or more, we will send you a personalized thank you postcard from Landon and I. So you won't need to worry about winning it. If you send $10 or more, we'll guarantee send you one. And Landon will nice. actually even come out here. Landon will even come out here and pick out the postcard for you. So you'll know exactly what you're getting. So thank you guys again for that. We really appreciate it. Again, breast cancer awareness. But I'm, right now, I want my buddy, Kenny. Wait, before we do that, I also want to say this. I was in talking with Kimberly uh, just a while ago, and it, and it came upon my heart that what I want our channel to do is every month, all the super chats, all the PayPal donations, all the super stickers, all that, are going to go to a charitable donation for whatever month it is. Oh, cool. So October, breast cancer awareness, November. There's three of them for November. One of them is military families, right? Because it's military vet veterans awareness month for the military. Also Alzheimer's awareness month. Also diabetes awareness month. I actually have di diabetes. Papa's diabetic. I know for sure. My dad's diabetic. So those three causes. And when you guys send your donations next month, if you'll just message me and my email address and just let me know which cause you would want that donation to go to, we'll make sure we get it sent to you in your name. So sent to them in your name. So that's something that we're just going to start doing. So I, I think that's going to be something that's pretty cool. That's awesome. So if you guys could just spread the word, let your friends, let your family know kind of that our channel is pretty much going to be just a uh, – a channel for for giving and supporting causes we'd very much appreciate that but at the same time we're going to stick to our roots we're going to try our best to be family friendly we're going to try our very best to have fun because that's all that our stream is is that's all our streams have ever been about hanging out having fun and good fellowship and so with that being said next week next week uh 
my great friend right here, with the help of Megan from Going Green Mom, is going to be putting on a very, very special uh, collaboration, live stream, uh, fundraiser kind of deal. And I'm going to bring him full screen and let him tell you guys about that right now. So, Kenny? Next week, um, I'm going to be doing a uh, the American Wonder Fundraiser Marathon. For those of you that that don't know, uh, uh, the American Wonder is a he's been a great guy in the community, especially in the RV community. He's done logos and vinyl work for people in the in the in the uh, uh, community and different things for people. He's just a great friend, and um, so he. Um, so we're going to he he's been in the hospital and he had uh he has gotten the he 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 had a 109 degree temperature and he had been in the icu and so uh he finally he's, he's finally out of the icu and into a regular room and um but he's still not able from the last update that I got, he's still not able to sit up or walk or anything right now. But anyway, um, so we're trying to, uh, I'm doing this uh, fundraiser for him. It's called, we're going to call it the American Wonder Fundraiser Marathon. It's going to be starting Friday um, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And run until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. It's going to be a 48 hour from back to back live streams from different live streams. Um, and it, and there's still some spots that need to be filled. And if anybody's interested, please contact me or go on Green Mom. Um, so, uh, um, you can, my email is, uh, Kenneth Oaks 27 at gmail.com and oh, go on, do what? Kenneth Oaks 27 at yep. gmail.com at gmail.com. Uh, Kenneth Oaks 27 is all one word, right? I guess. All uh, one word and all okay. word case. Okay. And, uh, and then, um, uh, going green mom's email is, uh, Going Green Mom on YT at gmail.com. It, it's all lowercase and, and all. All, all right, one guys. Word so we have a banner scrolling across the bottom of the screen for this. So if you're interested, please, please, please email Kenny. Let him know. Yeah. So, and, uh, and so, um, um, and we're trying to do this to also help cover the cost of the boarding for his dog. This, uh, he has a special needs dog named HD. And, uh, it, the reason why I say it's a special needs dog, it has, um, it has, uh, a degenerative nerve disease that it can't, it can't walk without a special walker for it to for it to uh, be able to get around and things like that. And it it's also blind and and things like that. And also too, uh, JT may have some uh, medical equipment or something that his insurance or VA doesn't pay for. Um, and I want him to be able to have some extra money out there. Uh, in case he needed some special equipment or something that if he does get out. Um, like I said, the hopes is that he may get out Monday, but he's still, if he's not able to still, still function, still be able to um, be able to walk or sit up. Um, I, I don't see he's still going to have to have help once he gets out himself. Right. And, uh, and, uh, and he's going to, have to have somebody help with the dog as well, because, because right. the dog is not going to, the dog actually needs 24 hour care, uh, by, by itself. 
I mean, uh, uh, because in actuality, the boarding place, besides the boarding place, JT is the only one that really knows how, how, how much care this dog needs because he's been around that dog that long and right and he knows more about how to go about the dog's health and things like that and things so um but like i said if jt is still uh not not in any shape to to take care of himself i don't see how he's gonna be able to take care of the dog too you know what i mean Right. Well, that's yeah. awesome that you're doing that for him, Kenny. And I know a lot of people have already volunteered to help out, uh, but I just want to encourage mm-hmm. anybody and everybody who may be willing and be able to do a live stream any between any time between next Friday and next Sunday to step in and do so. Got Kenny's uh, email running across the bottom of the screen there. I know that Sunday there's quite a few openings still, right? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I know the the Sunday morning – the overnight hours is still pretty much uh, the overnight from uh, let's say um, from twelve o'clock until sun from twelve o'clock sir, uh, Sunday morning a.m. all the way up into the morning up until one p.m. Eastern Standard Time that afternoon, there's still some slots that need to be filled. And I might be able to do the overnight hours again, even though I'm going to be doing overnight hours on Friday. I'm going to be going five hours on Friday now myself. Five, five hours. I'm going to be going from uh, I'm going to be going from two a.m. Saturday morning until seven a.m. that morning. So I'm surprised, Kenny, because that, that's uh-huh. a short stream for you. Well, you gonna do a sleep stream in there somewhere or no? No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't told. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep from falling asleep on my own live stream. <laughs> so, uh, but. Uh, uh but anyway um i just um i just hope that uh you know it, this will help as of right now i i haven't got any more updates other than what i've already said but as of right now if if he does get out monday the last update that i got uh uh, when I talked with Jerry Holly, because we did a, a Facebook Messenger call the other day, um, the last update I got, we were still a hundred and sixty dollars short of getting the dog out of that oh, boarding man. place on Monday. That is, if if JT gets out, if JT gets it's out of the hospital Monday. Then they're gonna allow. They're gonna, then then somebody's gonna go get the dog once the once it's paid for. But the boarding place won't allow the dog out of the boarding place unless it's fully paid. So right. Uh, I don't know if they. I don't know if they raised that hundred and sixty over the weekend. But I'm still wanting to do this marathon in case he needs extra money for anything else he may need any help. You know medical wise or any other upcoming bills that he may have or, you know, whatever, you know, right. He'll have it. Well, that's awesome, man. And, yeah. and uh, I think that's going to be a really also, great deal. Yeah. And I was going to say, we're also using Backroads RVing's personal PayPal account. He's the one taking care of the funding for this. So, because uh, JT's uh, JT JT's PayPal does not work at all. He has two PayPal's, neither one of them works. So we're using uh, Backroads RVing's PayPal for this. So, uh, you can carry on now. 
All right, so without further ado, we need to start welcoming some people in. We're getting people into the chat. We've got 18 in here right now. Thank you guys so, so much. If you would, please share us out. Uh, if you want to give us a thumbs up, that's awesome. But what we're really here for and what we're going to be here from here on out every time we do a live stream is to raise some money for some great causes. Kenny just told you guys about the American Wonder uh, fundraiser stream thon that's going to be going from Friday through Sunday of next week for 48 hours. Uh, and tonight, since it's the month of October, our channel... Rayleigh Creative Travel, Dream on Wheels. A lot of us have been raising money for breast cancer awareness. So as you guys can see in the bottom of the screen, any super chats, any super stickers, any PayPals, uh, that money will be donated on your behalf to the American Cancer Society, city and state of your choice in honor of breast cancer awareness. And if you give a super chat, super sticker, or PayPal, $10 or more, Landon and I will send you a personalized postcard from us as our way of saying thank you. And Landon will actually come on screen and pick out the postcard for you right as soon as you leave that super chat or super stick. So nice. one, here's what I want to do as a way of welcoming everybody in. Here's what I want to do. I got a question to ask you guys. We're going to do this every, every time we do a live stream now. We're going to try to have a theme to our live streams, uh, whatever – Theme, whatever topic the trivia is, we're going to try to make the jokes related to that, and we're going to have a question related to that as well. And so our question for you guys tonight, and if you will, please just type that question in the chat. What is your favorite childhood Halloween memory? Tonight's trivia is going to be Halloween. The jokes are going to be about Halloween. So the question for you is, what is your favorite childhood Halloween memory? What's up, bro? Yeah. I'm not gonna turn the computer around. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Amy, do you have a, a favorite Halloween memory from mm -hmm. as a kid? Probably just trick or treating with the kids in my neighborhood. We lived in a pretty good um, neighborhood from when I was eight and up, um, and just going around in our huge neighborhood with all our friends like that. And then, um, hey, Kenny, can you do this, please? Can you put the yeah, link for PayPal that? in the oh, uh, All right. Hey. But yeah, probably Sorry, Amy, when I was little. You had a good neighborhood? Yeah. Just trick-or-treating, basically? Yep. Very cool. Landon, do you have a favorite childhood memory of Halloween? I'm still in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in your childhood. Turn it around so they can see you. Why don't you just get right here? No, turn it around. I'm not turning it around. I want to Oh, it's not happening, so too bad. Oh, I know mine. What is it? Seeing you dressed up in that dinosaur suit. Oh, Lord. It's not really Halloween yet. But... Yeah, you should. we're going to show you guys some video and some pictures of their Halloween costumes. They're going to be pretty good this year. Hey, Bill, Thin Blue Lane, welcome in, buddy. Candy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Miss Tammy, good to see you. Popcorn muffin. Yeah. I did see that question from Nick about the power outage. Yeah, that was really interesting. Was it yesterday? Two day days before? Ago. Day before. Yeah. We were, I was on Serenity, and that's on the back of the ship on this one. No. And all week, I've been able to feel the vibrations of the ship. Like, it's been really bad. And... I could feel the vibrations as we were pulling away from Bimini. And then all of a sudden I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't think we're moving anymore. So I'm outside in complete sunlight, like not paying attention. Like I was looking at Facebook or whatever. And I go over to the railing. And as soon as I get to the railing and look down at the water and see that we're not moving, the captain came over and said that we had lost power. Kenny, uh, huh. read that there. comment. Sorry, Amy. You're good. Eating all the eating all the candy, but as I got closer into my teen years, love going out to Rome and toy over the yard, especially with Pastor Jones. Good God. <laughs> my dad's a bad influence. 
Um, Wearing costumes in school, and we always had Halloween parades. That's awesome. But for about 30 minutes, we didn't have any power, and they got it back up and going, and we were still stuck there for a little bit and went on our way. But it was just weird that I, as soon as I got up and walked to the railing is when the captain came over, came across and said, and then Frankie, the cruise director, was like, and if anybody's stuck in the elevator and you can hear this, push the panic button in there. Jeez. You going to say hi to everybody or you just going to let them see you? Hi, Landon. Hi. <laughs> hey, Travel Adventures, will there be? We had a parade too. I don't know who that is over on Facebook, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you if you left a PayPal. I really do appreciate that as well. My favorite Halloween memory was creating a haunted graveyard with my brother and little sister with scrap wood. That's awesome. Very cool. There's Ford, man. There's Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Thank you, Kenny, for doing that. Appreciate it, buddy. Not yeah. that one. Oh, which one did you want? Mars for breast cancer awareness. Uh, oh, sorry about that. It's all right. I, I thought you. Hey, <laughs> right, Sarah. Good to see you. I thought you won that one. Hey, Ron. Eric, good to see sorry you, about that. <laughs> hey, Fatima. Good what to see did I find you. that link at? Oh, that's who it was. It was Fatima, probably. Okay. Over there. What did I find that link at? The breast cancer yeah. one. The Coming description the underneath. It's just our. It's just our PayPal account yeah. for our channel. Yes. Oh. Hey, Landon. Jonathan said. Hi. Janice said, "Hey, Landon." Hi. Fatima said, "Hey, Landon." Tammy said, my mom's birthday is on Halloween. Very cool. Happy birthday to your mom, Tammy. I switched. Okay, okay. It, it was Fatima. All right, cool. Hey, Lori. Meg W., good to see you, Meg. Hawkins, good to see you. Thank you, Blaine. <laughs> hey, Mark, good tomorrow. to see you, brother. Welcome in. Beach, please. Hey, Beach, Always please. good to see those guys. All right, so here's what is going to be going on on tonight's show. When we spent 24 minutes, here's what's going to be going on for the rest of tonight. We're going to make a special announcement about some travel plans that Kimberly and I have at the end of tonight's show. But right now, we're getting ready to start trivia, uh, and then we're going to do some jokes with Landon. And then to close the night out, we're going to do a hangout, just have some fun, try to raise some money for breast cancer awareness. So first off is... Trivia. So tonight's topic is random general Halloween questions. Halloween questions. That's all it is. So if you guys have been to our trivia before, you know how it works. First three people to get the qu the answer right, get a point. Uh, if you don't exactly get the answer right, but you're one of the qu fastest, you get a point, and then we'll give three additional points to the other three that get it right. Thank you, Nick. Uh, but, uh, and those that might have missed this the uh, this announcement earlier, I want to go ahead and make this announcement again. And that is that our channel, as of tonight, has is committed to raising money each month for whatever charity awareness month it is for that month. So this month, we've been working to raise money for breast cancer awareness. Next month, we're going to be raising money for Alzheimer's awareness, diabetic awareness, and also for military families and military veterans. So any PayPal, any... Uh, super chat, any super sticker, all that money, all those proceeds will go to support charitable foundations from here on out. I can't, Lennon. I'm not doing it. All right. So with that being said, Kenny, you ready to start trivia? Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. Question number one is... What are the colors of a normal piece of candy corn in order from the base to the point? Uh, 
Hey, what's going on, Jeff? Jamestown Baseball Commissioner. Very nice. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Again, the question was, what are the colors of a normal piece of candy corn in order from the base or the bottom to the point, which is the top? Looks like I see one. Looks like I, I see three already. Oh, I see two. <laughs> Kimberly Griswold, I must be landing. New beginnings <laughs> with Booty and Cindy. Hey, nice to see you guys. Welcome in. That might be who got the third one. All right, I think we have our three. I think we have our three. All right. Yellow, orange, it, white. It's three hours. I know, I missed it. Oh, Fatima. I was too much. And Nick. Fatima, Nick, and uh, who was it? The This one. New beginnings with Booty and Cindy. Welcome in, guys. If you're new, thank you all so much for being here. Please share us out. And as you can see from the bottom of the screen, our live stream tonight is to help raise money for breast cancer awareness. So any $10 or more super stickers, super chat, PayPal donation, uh, email us and we'll send you guys the uh, – We'll send the donation to whichever city and state, whatever American Cancer Society you would like that money to go to. I'm going to go ahead and put my email address up there. And uh, if you donate $10 or more, Nina and I will send you guys a personalized postcard from the two of us. All right. So, base up. Yep, yep. I'm eating them right now and still got it wrong. <laughs> Blaine, crazy. Oh, I also, I, I want to thank Blaine. I got something in the mail from him today. I got my favorite taffy in the world. It's from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. They have taffy logs. The candy store is called Old Smoky Candy Candy Store, I believe. So I got those in the mail. So thank you so much for getting those for me, Blaine. Appreciate it, boy. I love candy corn. All right, Ford man. Lewisburg, Ohio is home to the world's longest what? Yep, Kathy Logs. Not Hayride, not Bridge. Remember the topic, guys, is Halloween. I see one right answer. It is underground. Yep, it's underground, but what is it? <clears throat> there we go. I have... The air in this room, the dial's turned all the way as far as it can go into the red, and I am still freezing in this room. Really? It is so cold in this ship. So cold. What? <laughs> wow. This is a family-friendly show. What's that? Amy, she just said a bad word. No, what did I say? I said You said shit. it's so... There you go again. See, Kenny? You need to get her to stop cussing for real. <laughs> Shit, with the P. Hey, watch P. it. <laughs> First point is landing with Haunted House. Uh, so. Second point is landed. No, second point is <laughs> make W. Okay, so landing. Landing, make W. And we'll go ahead and give it to Blaine. He said Haunted Cave. That's That'll work. What was it? And Blaine. There was no haunted house. 
Hmm. It's an underground tunnel, and they make a – hey, Kristen, great to see you. It's an underground oh, yeah. tunnel, Kenny, and they make it into a haunted house. No kidding, Nick. She's swearing like a sailor. <laughs> Every other word that comes out of her mouth has been ship. <laughs> ah, darn. <laughs> oh. I remember. Get... I remember no one had internet on ships. Not people. Are, now people are doing live streams. No kidding, huh? Brittany, you don't do haunted houses. Welcome in, Brittany. I'm not sure I said hello to you, but thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing great tonight. I don't do them either. Ryan said, holy shit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Amy is tired. She's been hanging out for pineapples this week. Oh, Lord. So, funny story. Oh, my I goodness. Think, here we go. I think on the last cruise, and even this cruise, I looked for the pineapples too early in the day because I don't even remember what night it was. It was late. Oh, thank you, like Lillian. Midnight. About 1130 midnight. I was wandering the halls and I went to deck one because I was like, well, oh, I haven't looked Lord. at deck one yet. And I found an upside down pineapple in the oh, hall hanging goodness. on somebody's door. I took the video, took the picture, and just kept on walking. I'm like, I'm getting far away from this room as possible. But I found oh. one. Man and stop. He's cheating. All right, next question is this. Stop. <laughs> Where does Halloween spending rank compared to other U.S. holidays? Where does Halloween spending rank compared to other U.S. holidays? Nick wants to know if you knocked, Amy. Uh -uh. I, I just took the picture, the video, and I got far away. Oh, you're ruining me. I'm not kidding. And then sent the picture to a bunch of people. All right. So I think I looked too early in the day. I think you have to look later at night is when the upside-down pineapples come out. All right, so we have our three answers. I'm not counting Landon because he cheated. Uh, Fatima. And Tammy. And Lillian. Those are your top three. So what's the first one? Christmas? Christmas is first. Halloween is second. Yeah. And most of that is just, most of that is just because of candy, yeah. Hey, so, take care, Keith. Good to see you, buddy. Have a good night, bud. Have a good night. Um, so you said the team? Uh? Oh dear Lord. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fatima, Tammy, and Lillian. Mm -hmm. Avery must not know that we, we switched it up and are doing trivia first. I'm seeing a lot of different names getting points huh, since we started. Uh, mm -hmm. You figured Halloween would be after Easter. That makes sense. Oh, my goodness. Landing. You see what he just put in the chat, Katie? I think that. <laughs> like I see that. Darn. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Question four, Kenny. What does sing? What does sing a spider on Halloween signify? And so the comment of the person who thought Easter should be above Halloween, but if you think about it, like with Easter, you're buying just candy and stuff for your kids. 
with Halloween, there's all the costumes and all the decorations, and you're buying tons of candy to give to a tons of kids. You're not just giving it to one or two kids or three or however many kids you have. You're doing it for the neighborhood kids. Yeah, I'm not seeing the right answer yet. I'm seeing a whole bunch, Neither of, am I. A whole bunch of safeties, but that's not the right answer. Sean is scared. <laughs> Yeah, I don't Looks like, like y'all were having fun tonight with uh y'all y'all were having fun tonight with uh Ronnie and Oma, Jonathan. That's pretty cool. Well <laughs> Mike said that there's probably a web nearby. Touche. Not gold, not haunting. Well kind of haunting. That's close. we we'll, we can give haunting one. Yes, but people spend up there on their children's. That's close. That's true too. Bad omen. No idea. All right. Hey, it looks like we have them stumped on this one. So let's give it to uh, the one that said hunt, haunting. New beginnings with Booty and Cindy. Let's g just give them a point. The correct answer, guys, on that one is what, Kenny? It is a loved one is watching over you. Yep, a loved one is watching over you. They say the same thing about a cardinal too, or a, and a butterfly, right? I think you see a cardinal or you see a butterfly, that means that a loved one is watching over you. So that's pretty cool. It's actually, I guess, it's actually a good thing then to see a spider on Halloween. That's pretty neat. I don't. Mm any new one with any type of spider shauna being scared was a correct answer <laughs> that's true huh <laughs> <laughs> all right number five in which country did halloween originate in which country did halloween originate Not France, not Germany, not Romania. It's close to the UK. UK is closest answer I see so far. No, not Germany. Okay, we got one. We got two. We got two. We got three. All right. So here it is, Kenny. Here it is. Um, Nick, new beginnings with Booty and Cindy. Nick and Janice, JP Travel Adventures. And the correct answer was Ireland. Ireland. I don't know if I said hi to Bill. Good to see you, Bill. I hope you and Nancy are doing well. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, Kenny. Question six, my friend. My screen, I did it faster than you. But you didn't put Ireland, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Amy, are you tired? From which two words did bonfire originate? Which two words did bonfire originate? Say it again, Kenny. I don't, I don't think Fatima heard. Which, which two words did bonfire originate? Bon, bonfire. B-O-N-F-I-R-E. 
Which two words did bonfire originate? Guys, remember, we're here to try to raise money for breast cancer awareness. If you can't donate, completely understand. If you would share us out to some people who may be able to donate, that would be absolutely amazing as well. Never die. <laughs> hey, howdy from Galveston. Hey, hey, Don, good to see you. Galveston, huh? Amazing. It's awesome. Hope you're having a great time down there. Are you going on a cruise, Don? Huh. I did tell her. I told my dad as well. It was kind of on the way back, though, Tammy. It was under construction, so it took a while. But going there was amazing. Bonnie hotness. I see two. I see two. Hey, Spikers, good to see y'all. Welcome in. Hey, Spikers. You shared the stream. Thank you, Brittany. Hey, Spikers. I see two, guys. I see two. That's it, though. Just a couple of days. Enjoy God. Okay, cool. There it is. All right, so we've got Bones and Fire from Jonathan. Wait, okay. no, 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 no. Hold, hold on. My bad, my bad, my bad. I saw I saw it up here faster than that. Janice, Bones and Fire. Um okay. Landon, Bones and Fire. And Meg W, Bones and Fire. Yep, Bonfire, Bones and Fire. That's exactly. I didn't know that. Did y'all know that? Bonfire came from Bones and Fire. It's kind of cool. Hope y'all are doing well, Cindy. I hope Mr. Doug's doing well. Hope your boys are doing well. Thank you for being here. All right. Number seven. What do you call an intense fear of Halloween? This one you guys might have to Google because it's kind of tough and Avery's not here. So the human Google's not here. So you guys might have to Google it on your own. What do you call an intense fear of Halloween? Learning so much. <laughs> that's good. That's good. We resemble that. Oh, that's true, huh? That's funny. Is the whole family down there with you, Don? Or is it just you and Jeff? Man, it says he quits. <laughs> I see one. I see one. Hey, Miss Najuma, great to see you. Welcome in. Hey, hey Najuma. Najuma. That was a great uh, interview you had with Magnus in Germany with Darren the other day. Or I need yesterday. to go back and watch that. Was that? I've already, already rewatched it. No, it wasn't this morning because he's at he's camping at a campground yesterday morning yeah it was yesterday morning see i was sleeping at the time and it came on so oh yeah i actually didn't get up you were sleeping this morning until or i didn't get up till about two o'clock this afternoon all right we got three make w's first sam hanophobia Followed by Brittany, Samhainophobia. Followed by Janice, Samhainophobia. So Meg W, Brittany. And Janice. Darren's Friday live streams are now on Wednesday, starting this week. All right. Yeah. yeah I only know the trivia from the other day on the yep. They, they did Kahoot. Back a long time ago, about a year ago, uh, the only person on YouTube doing Kahoot was this guy. 
And then everybody started doing Kahoot. And then the trolls started coming to play Kahoot. And so I said, the heck with it. I'm out. Then Kenny said, the heck with it. I'm out. So now there's just very few that play Kahoot anymore. Hey, Kendra. Hey, Kendra. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're... Your family's doing well also. Thank you for being here. I think I, I think I was first, but that's all right. The more the merrier. Amy, check out and go to sleep. <laughs> but hey, down on the cruisers. Good to see you, Sean. Hope you're doing uh, well, my but, friend. Hey, Sean. But yeah, I did not... Uh, I didn't go to bed till about five o'clock this morning. Good God, Kenny! <laughs> I did. Are you sleeping then? And uh, I slept till about two o'clock this afternoon. And I've been up ever since. Amy, you be home tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow night. My plane leaves here at six twenty-five, and I land in Texas at. Eight forty-five. Hey, that's not bad at all. So, oh, very cool. Australia's no, open now. Congratulations! I'll be Sean. hanging out in the Baltimore airport all day. We're free! Yay! Hey, is that that's a week early, isn't it? Because just send it. You said you got two more weeks. Very cool. You're putting me on punch, but what's up about? Hmm? What up, Anthony? Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. What do you say? Hey, Grandma Rush, what's happening? Congratulations on being free, the Down Under Cruisers. I know, huh? Yeah. Oh, my God, Nick. I tell you, it might be open with Sean. What are you saying? He's on home arrest? Jeez. <laughs> All right, Kenny. Number eight. Which vegetable was originally used to make jack-o'-lanterns? Pineapples. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that a vegetable? No, it's a fruit. Kenneth, tell Papa, Papa I said hello, said Kendra. He says hello back. Although everybody's saying, "Well, I see one right answer." I see one right answer. I do too. That's it, though. I see two pearl onions, <laughs> apples. I see two now. I see three, and so it's made up. New York City, the states will open up next week, and the country borders should be open by the. There you go. Very cool, man. Congratulations. I, I know that's, that's awesome. It's, a, it's been like almost a year longer than anybody else down there. Yeah, it's been almost uh, two years for them. Jeez. You need help, sweetheart. So it was uh, Meg W. Blaine. No. Oh yeah, it was. New beginnings. Meg W. Yeah. Blaine and, and Booty. Booty and Cindy. Booty and Cindy. Threw some people off. Oh, that's why you did that, huh? There you go. Smart. All right, all right, guys. Number nine. Transylvania is a region... In which country? Transylvania is a region in which country? And just to reiterate, guys, we're trying to raise money for breast cancer awareness. So any super chats, any super stickers, any PayPals, that money will indeed go to breast cancer awareness. Um, and if you'll email me, I'll, if you send a donation, $10 or more, we'll send you a personalized thank you postcard from Landon and I. And I'll send my email address up on the screen. And you guys can send me what city, what state. Or since we have some Aussies in here, some Canadians in here, what 
province, what territory, whatever, you want that donation to go to. Good night, Jeffrey. Good night, Jeff. Take care, buddy. Good night, Jeffrey. When did he change his name? Uh, today, I guess. No, he, okay. he, he, he was that before. Cause he was that on my on my live stream last night. So Kendra, Ryan, and Tammy, Romania. Good job, guys. Kendra, who? Kendra, Tammy, and Ryan. Ryan Donahue. What was the vegetable? It was turnips. Turnips? Yeah. And if you guys missed it as well, our our country, our, not our country, God, our channel starting today, every single month, we're going to pick one or two or three different charitable donations. And every time you guys send a super chat, every time you send a PayPal, anytime you send a super sticker, that money that you send that would go to us is going to go to the charity that we are trying to support for that month. So it's just something that, that we started doing. So hopefully we'll get some support from that. I think that, that's a pretty good idea. So Janice said, hi, Kenny's dad. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. So number 10, that's you, Kenny. You got to say it right, though. You got to say the proper pronunciation. Oh, Lord, good luck with this. <laughs> <laughs> Which country is well known for so for celebrating Dia de la, la Marutos? That's close. <laughs> Dia de los Muertos. Yeah. Good night, Amy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, she's coming back. Oh, she's trying to come back anyways. There she is. Thought you went to bed. No, I don't know what happened. All right, so we got three for sure, Kenny. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Meg W. <laughs> Nick P. Hey, look who slid in the door sideways. Megan Morris, good to see you. I hope you and Nick are doing well. Good to see you all. All right, so Meg W., Nick P. Megan Morris, Duchess. Mm-hmm. Good to see you, Megan. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, She's still on the ship. Yep, she is, Nick. Did you see what I... Uh, Wednesday. Okay, okay. Very cool. I saw you posted about being the commissioner of the Jamestown Baseball League. I saw that, but I didn't know you changed your YouTube name. Very cool. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, so again, the answer to Dia de, los, Dia de los Muertos is indeed Mexico. <laughs> All right, next question. Amy, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. All right, to get up. Next question. There you are. Uh, according to superstitions, a person born on Halloween has what special ability? According to superstition, a person born on Halloween has what su special ability? You're right. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think you said it that loud, but apparently Meg W heard you. 
There we go. We got three. Meg W. She ghosts, correct? So Meg W. Yep. Kendra. Talk to spirits, correct? And Megan Morris. Talk to the dead, correct? Exactly. They can see and hear spirits. Kendra. No, Blaine. That's Ron. She's America's uh, special ability. Mm -hmm. C pine. Oh, C pine. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Drive their daughter crazy. <laughs> Talk to black cats. Oh, that's right. I forgot. She said her dad. I think she said it was her dad, right? That was born on Halloween. Tammy's. Very cool. They see upside. Oh, my goodness. I'm back in the wrong cat. <laughs> upside down pineapples. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kenny said, I mean, Blaine said when he was a little kid at Halloween, he, he liked uh, doing something with his pillow. Kind of reminded me of Kenny. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, good night, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your mom. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> And I just lost my notebook. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good job. Wow. Number 12, Kenny. Yeah, number 12. Oh, Ooh. not your pillow. Your pillow case. That's what it was. My bad. Sorry, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, y'all kill me. Amy, you look like one of those towel animals that they put on your bed. Oh, I'm me. freezing. It is so cold. Who is said to haunt the White House garden? <laughs> Bl Blaine said, A Amy. <laughs> Amy looks like an igloo. <laughs> I've been cold since yesterday morning. I have not Amy warmed up. So you know, well, the only time that I'm warmed up when I was in the shower and was, had the hot water. Other than that, I've been cold since yesterday morning. No. General Custer, that'd be pretty sweet. Here's a clue, guys. It's a girl. It was a first lady, and I believe it's also a cupcake brand. Isn't it, Kenny? I don't okay, think so. I kind of like a little Debbie kind of do. If it if it is a if it is a, uh, uh, I see one. Yeah, I see one too. Love it when Kenny falls off his giggle chair. You have a giggle chair. If you ever a first lady. Oh, Scott. Hey, Scott. Who's this guy? Kicking it country vlog. Hey, I think I know him. Kenny, do I know kicking it country vlogs? Yes. I do? Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're we're off track here. We need Who's to... uh, off track? Um. <laughs> 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 We got these see, answers yeah. coming in so fast, and Amy's so tired. And I, I'm like just seeing squirrels. That Kenny, Kenny's looking at the ch the chat. He's looking at the stream, and all he's seeing is this. <laughs> Blaine, Blaine's talking about going trick or treating as a kid, so he's seeing this. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Kenny. What'd you say? 
Uh, New Beginnings is one that got it, I think. All right. And, uh, uh, um, who are the other two? Uh, uh, oh, Megan Lord. Morris. Lord. Megan Morris. And, um, uh, hey, Ashley, good to see you. Welcome in. Nick P, it looks like. All right. That's probably it then. I trust you. Megan, it feels like I'm in a cruise in Iceland. I'm trying to remember who Kicking It Country is. That's Scott. I don't remember. <laughs> He's messing with him, Kenny. Oh, <laughs> Kenny, you're not yelling at me, are you? No. Because when you said that to me just now, you know what I heard? What's that? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> All right, moving on. Love it. Oh, Lord goodness. I swear. No. Number 13. How many people lost their lives... During the Salem witch trials. How many people lost their lives during the Salem witch trials? While you guys answer that, I'm going to figure out who Kicking It Country is. Because I still don't remember. Kenny's looking like me, like I'm some kind of idiot. <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> I, I, I see a picture of him. I remember who he is. It's this guy. Yeah, Scott. Got yeah. it. Got it. Um. Took me a while to find that. So. On that. Look at him. Look what he said. <laughs> I didn't see it. You didn't. Really. Mm -mm. No. Well, here's a picture I've of Kenny. I've seen it before. <laughs> now, now I'll find it. Now, oh, Lord, he left. Here's Scott. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's see who got it right first. Uh, Kenny, are you there? I think Kenny He's probably to laughing up. too hard. I think he had to ouse for it real quick. Yeah, um, I was thinking that too. Kendra, Nick, and C Booty and Cindy. Kendra, Nick, Booty, and Cindy. Correct answer was 19 supposed witches were actually hung to Salem witch trials. 19 of them. So I'll, I'll write that down since I don't know where he, he went off to. Who was it again? Kendra? Nick? Booty. And Booty, right? Booty and Cindy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, Amy. What? You going to sleep? <laughs> no. You can get off if you're going to bed. That's fine. Hey, Joy, good to see I'm you. Trying to warm up. Well, Anthony said yes, that uh, Kenny stole your pillow. Hmm. I've still got the four, so we're good. Good to see you. Good to see you, Joy. I hope you and uh, Donnie are doing well. Amy almost pulled a Kenny. Falling asleep on the live stream. That's exactly right. I'm not going to fall asleep. All right, guys. Um, Number 14. Oh, look. Have you been there the whole time? 
Oh. I tell you what. You are something else. <laughs> All right, go ahead. At number 14, what was the original name for candy corn? Mallory mentioned we should visit Salem one day. There you go. Very cool. Oh, that was fast. Anthony? He said chicken fried, chicken fred, but I think he meant chicken feed, so we'll give it to him. Kendra? Megan? There he goes. He corrected himself. Joy wants to know if you're still on the ship, Amy. Yep, I get off tomorrow morning. There you go. Anthony. Who'd you say, Anthony? Oh, my good God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm teaching. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> Kendra, and Megan. Okay. Uh -huh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> the best way to eat candy corn is throw it in the trash. That's awful rude, Nick. Yeah. What did the candy corn it's ever do to you? Up. Jeez. I love oh, candy corn. How rude, man. I'm getting ready to make some candy corn pone cakes. Oh, Lord. Did you hear that, Kendra? Papa's getting ready to make some candy corn porn cake, he said. <laughs> Good God, Papa, I swear. <laughs> I'm in the wrong chat. <laughs> Look what Kendra said. Oh, cool. Lord. Exactly. We all know that story. <laughs> all right, Kenny, your turn, buddy. I just went. Well, go again. Oh, fine. I'll go. Hold on. All right. Number 15. What famous magician... Passed away on Halloween. What famous magician, not musician, but magician, passed away on Halloween? Answer that one. I answer that one. Hey, okay, uh, I'll be right back. Sure. Go ahead. Would you rather I get? Let's hear it. Harry Houdini. You're right, sir. You're right. You are absolutely so, correct. Fatima, okay. Megan, and Sean. All right, Sean. Good job, buddy. Yay, Sean. Good job. Good job. Fatima said Papa texted me the answer. <laughs> Speaking of Houdini, we got to see a really cool magic show yesterday. Did you? And really? he did like two escape and he did two ex two escape things. Very one out cool. of a straight jacket and one like with handcuffs and chains. Tom Arnold. <laughs> I did, you even know who Tom Arnold is? <laughs> I just put a random Let then it put Tom Arnold. Remember who that guy was? Wait, I think I'm at Better get a towel. Yeah, wasn't he Mr. Roseanne Boy? Yeah, that's who it was. Then yep. <laughs> it had no clue, though. All right, Kenny. 16. About how many thousand calories are in an average trick-or-treater's Halloween stash? Oh, 
Jeez. You guys are way too big. Yeah. Just how many thousand? We already know that it's going to end in thousand. Seven thousand is close. Seven thousand is close. Amy. Yep. You want to see Kenny laugh? Yeah. <laughs> Is that that come and go? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. You're getting Close. closer. You're getting closer. You get closer when with the uh, nine thousand. The nine thousand is the closest so far. Landon, come wipe this up. Goofball. Landon. Ten thousand is the closest so far. Still wrong. I see Landon's got it there. With, with the, with, with. There we go. So, Landon, Brittany, and... Uh, Landon, Brittany... And Ashley's world. Landon, Brittany, and Ashley's world. Yes, sir. That's right. That is correct. Yes, you got it. Instead of cleaning up your mess, I cleaned it up for you. You're welcome. I guess 900 billion thousand carbs. All right. Nine, 11,000 carbs or calories. Nice. Wow. Number 17. They should put an in and out inside a come and go. That'd be pretty smart. That's a good point. All right. What item is banned on Halloween in California? What item is banned on Halloween in California? No idea. Oh. Apples, everything. There we go. There's one, two, three. Mm, Kendra? Kendra. Duchess? And Booty and Cindy. Correct answer is indeed Silly String. Good job, guys. Good job. 30 people in the house. Thank you all so much for being here. Please, please, please consider donating to Breast Cancer Awareness by putting a chat, uh, a tip in our PayPal, leaving a super ch uh, chat or a super sticker. Any donation at $10 or more, we will send you a personalized thank you postcard. I wasn't quick enough. To really appreciate it, guys. Thank you all for being here. I hope you all are having a great time. I know we are. What? What Amy looks that? like she's about to pass out, but she's still here. Kenny, Kenny I just to stop laughing, but he's still here, so that's cool. And uh, correct answer there was Silly String. I had no. So it was Kendra, New Beginnings, and who? 
Oh, good God. Really? I got to tell Kenny who got the answer right about every time somebody answers a question. Me? Uh, Kendra, Megan, Duchess, and okay. Rudy and Cindy. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it, brother. I mean, did you hit your 15 drink limit early? I had no clue. So no, I haven't even drank anything today. At all? Al no alcohol today? Well, that's a waste no, of the I deal, isn't it? Last night. Oh, you did? Yeah, but I, I had too much to drink last night and just had a headache. And then I um, got kind of seasick earlier today, I think, because oh. my stomach was bothering me. So I put on my CBNs, took Dramamine, and took a nap. Hey, thank you so, so much for stopping in, Fatima. Thank you for your PayPal donation. Really appreciate it. I hope you have a blessed Sunday tomorrow, and hope you have a great night. Thank you again. Blank thinks you need to go find someone to keep you warm. Thank you. There's not very many single guys on this ship, though. Billy String is flammable. I know one. He likes listening to uh, people play piano. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's a good point, Megan. I don't even know which question. <laughs> Touche. All right, number eighteen, Kenny. Let's see if our good buddy. Let's see if our good buddy knows this answer. I'm anxious to see if he knows this one. In in what American state is it illegal to be a priest or nun for Halloween? In what American state is it illegal to be a priest or nun for Halloween? Oh my goodness, Blaine. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He almost got it, right? <laughs> he almost got it, but Lennon beat him to it. Kendra, Megan, and Lennon, Alabama. California. Good job, guys. Good job, Alabama. I was so close to keeping it California. Sweet home, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Oh, good Lord. Hey, Kenny, that question that you missed, so you need to give another point to Kendra. Give a point to Kendra. Give a point to Nick P. And a point to Booty and Cindy because they, they got that question right that you weren't there for. Two more Which questions, guys. Two more questions, and then I'm going to share a little bit about my trip to Branson. Share some pictures with y'all. Uh, Landon's going to tell his jokes, and then we're going to have a hangout for anybody that wants to come up and uh, and hang out with us. You guys are more than welcome to. So, uh, Question 19. What is the most popular Halloween candy in the United States? Uh, Amy, can you turn your air down? She says she's tried. Yeah, the little dial, it's got the blue and the red, and it's turned all the way to the red. Like, I can't make it any warmer in here, and I'm still cold. And the funny thing is, there's people in our Facebook group that are complaining that the room is too hot. And then I know D from Para DJ. She has the same problem I did. Her their room is too cold. Yeah, Mine's too cold. I don't, I don't know what type of. Everybody's putting Reese's or M and M's. I don't see the right answer yet. I think at one time it was Reese's, but not yet. Don't forget to talk about your upcoming trip next month. Yeah, I'm gonna do that towards the end here. I didn't forget. Thank you for reminding me, though. I appreciate it. Not Snickers, not Twix, not Smarties. Smarties is kind of close. 
It's not chocolate. That's a clue. It's not chocolate. There we go. I'm starting to see him coming in now. We have two. Uh, still just see two. <laughs> Sour Patch, Starburst. I love there we go. All right, all right. We got three. It's yeah. uh, Adric, Foxy Rain. Welcome in, buddy. Good to see you. Megan Morris, Skittles. Adric, Skittles. And New Beginning with Booty and Cindy, Skittles. Did that game lie to me? Did you hear? That they're replacing the green, the green apple, and they're bringing back the lime skittle. Means oh, I'll yeah. buy skittles again. Yep. I was playing the game Taste the rainbow. Taste it the rainbow. Like twist it is what? What candy is most popular in the United States for Halloween? This said white chocolate. It said chocolate. All right, Kenny. Last one, buddy. Number 20. Okay. What two candy bars were the first to have fun size? What were the what the two first two candy, candy bars to have a fun size? The first two candy bars that have the fun size. That's what he said. Looks like, uh, looks like, looks like Kendra and Scott and Kendra, Scott and Scott. Megan. Megan Morris, there you go. All right, Kenny, so who are the top three? Do you know who you would say were the top three? Um, well, I would say uh, New Beginnings, Kendra, and Megan Morris. All right. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Very cool. Very cool. At the end of the show tonight, the very end of the show, I'll be asking you guys for some ideas for next week's trivia. Actually, two weeks from now. Actually, you know what? No, next week. Next Sunday, we're going to go live at a special time. We're going to be going live at 2 o'clock Eastern, I believe. Maybe 3 o'clock Eastern. I'm not really. I don't it's 3 o'clock Eastern. 3 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Central. We'll be doing trivia uh, to raise money for the American Wonder. American Wonder JT. Uh, so make sure you you, you uh, check us out for that. Make sure you check out all the channels. So it'll be part of the American Wonder uh, fundraiser. Um, right now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take time to thank all of our moderators, our partner channels, Rayleigh Creative Travel, Magnificent Germany with Darren, Ford Man, Kenneth Oaks, Poxy Rain, and Amy, if you want to be a partner channel, we'd love to have you. Amethyst Hayes Adventures. Uh, I also want to thank all of the moderators, thank our supporters for being here tonight. And though, as our special way of saying thank you to each and every one of you, every time we go live, we ask that if you are a YouTube creator, please put hashtag creator in the chat. If you're a supporter, which means you don't have any YouTube content, you just support and enjoy watching YouTubers, please put hashtag supporter. And we want to give a very special thank you and shout out to the supporters because without you guys, there would be no creators. And we ask that if you do see somebody in chat tonight you're not familiar with, you give their channel a chance. You go watch a video, leave them a comment, give them a like. If you like what you see, subscribe to them. 
Let them know we sent you. We'd appreciate that very much. I also do want to thank every each and every single one of you who have considered donating to Breast Cancer Awareness this month in one way or the other, whether it be to us, whether it be to Blaine, whether it be to Travis at Dream on Wills. We really do appreciate it, and I'm sure that your donation will, will go to excellent use. So thank you guys so much for that. <laughs> Let me see who all we have in the house tonight. Congratulations, everybody. Amy's getting ready to hibernate. Nice. That's awesome. I'll be on the train traveling, so I won't be able to watch any of those live streams. Hey, Shelly. Long time no see. Good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. All right. Joy Bless Life, creator. Blaine, creator. Awesome friend, partner channel. Getting ready to hit the bed soon. Been down to my lower back once again. and feels like I'm on fire. Oh, man. Well, thank you for being here, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Landon is a creator. Najuma, awesome, awesome supporter. Ashley, creator. Blaine, creator, supporter, partner channel. Sherry, hey, good. Sherry, good to see you. Welcome in. Thanks for being here. Hey, Sean, Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Supporter, stuck at work. Sean, creator, supporter, free Ozzy. Meg W, supporter. Nick P, creator, supporter, three days till my train shift. There you go, buddy. You're going to have a great time. Sherry, creator. Yes, indeed. We raised right around 500 bucks from the two. That's amazing. Very cool. Congratulations. That's that's awesome. Kendra, creator, supporter. Ford Man, creator, supporter. Brittany, creator. More so on Brittany Anderson Travel Adventures than on here. Supporter and travel advisor. Very cool. Uh, Hawkins Family Adventures. I just started my channel. Take care, Blaine. Yeah, hey, Blaine. I will always include supporters in my hashtags. Yep. If it wasn't for the supporters, there wouldn't be a YouTube. Uh, Booty and Cindy creators. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so guys, what I'm going to do right now is I want to bring Landon on for some jokes. Uh, before I do that, though, I'm going to show you all some pictures from my trip. I'm going to make it super fast. Show you guys some pictures from my trip, my, my solo trip I just took to Branson. I'm going to show you all some pictures of that. Then we're going to bring on jokes with Landon. Then we're going to do a hangout, and I'm going to make a special announcement about a tra some travels that we're getting ready to do uh, to close the night out. But let me go ahead and share my screen. We'll get these pictures shared with you guys, and then we'll bring on Lennon. All right, so this picture right here is just as of a restaurant, the very first restaurant I ate at. It is called Local Flavors. I'll be doing a vlog about that coming out on our channel sometime soon. I thought this was a really cool uh, Bible verse. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. You know that Bible verse, Kenny? Mm, no. You don't? Come on, man. I bet Scott knows it and Joy knows it. All right, this is one of the pictures that I took of uh, at Silver Dollar City. It's the Harvest Festival, so you guys will be seeing quite a few pictures of pumpkins. They do an awesome job around Halloween, uh, celebrating and decorating for Halloween. They do an amazing job at Christmas time as well. So, What ride's that, Kenny? I know you know that one. What? Yeah. What, ride, what ride is that in front of? Is, uh, fire in the hole? Fire in the hole. Okay, yeah, okay. That's from Fire in the Hole. Fireman's Ball. It'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> Here's a picture of one of the little jack-o'-lantern guys. Some more pictures from Silver Dollar City. Another, another pumpkin man, pumpkin baker, it looks like. Pumpkin candy apple. I was worried about what this guy was doing, but uh, 
It's actually outside the glass blowing shop, so that cleared it up for me. It looked like that pumpkin was almost doing something illegal there. Uh, here is cool jack o lantern outside on one of our favorite rides, Time Traveler. It's an amazing ride. So the event they have there is called Pumpkin in the City. So that's where all the you can go on like a hike and it's a ton of jack o' lanterns. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. There you go. I think that pumpkin has smoke. <laughs> Spider. Those pumpkin people are really cute. Yeah, they are. It's, they do an amazing job, Silver Dollar City does, at decorating. This is in the little kid area. They have a uh, children's area called Fireman's Landing that's dedicated to firefighters. And this is the little dog. Um, it's their little mascot. His name's Lucky. So they have a pumpkin decoration that looks like him that, that, that lights up at night. So that's pretty cool. Uh -huh. here's, one, here's one of Kenny's favorite rides right here. He rode this thing twice mystic river falls mm -hmm. that's so cool he loved that he loved that ride i love i loved it everything that i did in this is outside where we all ate at the rivertown smokehouse that's their little pumpkin decoration I enjoy your channel. Hey, thank you so much. We we appreciate it. This is the best food item. If you guys go to Silver Dollar City and you get one food item, Clara Bell's cinnamon bread is by far the thing you need to get. It's amazing. There's a picture of a rooster inside a pumpkin. Here's some shark pumpkins that are outside of Mystic River Falls because people joked around and they would say that uh, the river, the Mystic River, is full of sharks, Kenny. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that one. There were sharks in that water. Mm. And these are some of the biggest uh, pumpkins that there are. This is Brutish. This pumpkin was 1,186 pounds. This is Gertie, 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 1,104 pounds. This is the Dutton's show. This is one that was highly recommended by our good friend, Dewey Ski. He, uh, he loves going to see the Dutton's. So this is uh, from the Dutton's show. This, this, and this. I had front row seats at that show. That was pretty cool. And here's a picture of me outside of uh my tent with kenny's favorite hoodie on hmm. picture of the branson cafe this is the oldest cafe in all of branson picture of the famous branson mural wow i love branson here's a picture from the clay cooper show i'll never forget blaine's face on mystic river falls <laughs> The only thing that would make that hoodie better for Kenny is if it had a beaver on it. Well, I only had two hoodies there, Nick, and, and, uh, and Branson with me. One was the come and go hoodie, and the other was a Bucky's hoodie. Clay Cooper Country Experience. This is, this is a really awesome show as well, if you're a fan of country music. There's a, a pumpkin Christmas tree, Silver Dollar City. These are from the wildfire ride, my tent again. This is what Outlaw Run looks like. There's a picture of the barbecue that I ate at Rivertown Smokehouse. This is a, pi uh, a picture of a pumpkin thing that they did uh, in honor of breast cancer awareness. They made a pink ribbon out of pumpkins, so I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, and then look at the size of this pancake, Kenny. This restaurant's oh called Billy Gills. Look at the size of that thing. It's the size that of a large plate. want to jump right through that screen and eat every bit of that. That's the size of a large plate. Wow. 
All right, see you later, Kendra. Take care. Thank you for being here. Have a here. good one, Kendra. It's called Billy Gales. And then coming home, I stopped and saw this guy, the blue whale. Those of you that are familiar with Route 66, this blue whale right here is one of the most famous uh, roadside attractions in all of uh, Route 66. And that's right outside of Tulsa in a city called Katusa. So I didn't realize this, but uh, I had a chocolate chip from that pancake that you saw earlier, Kenny. Yeah. I had a chocolate chip on my lip when I took this picture, and I had no idea. Oh, wow. Until until Kimberly told me. She's like, what the heck is on your lip? I said, what are you talking about? But that's it. So without further ado, let's bring on Lanage for some jokes, and then we'll hang out for a little while if you guys want to. Can you still swim at the blue whale? No, you can't still swim. They they shut that down. I wish I wish you could, but you can't. Landon, you're up, bud. Let's bring on Landon. If you see him, know how to score. Kenny and Amy, I want you guys to try to guess some of these jokes, will you, please? Yep. Okay, here we go. Amy's gonna fall. <laughs> All right, Bubba. Okay. <laughs> Why do vampires use mouthwash? And you guys in the chat, if you think you know the answer, please type the type the answer in for landing. Why do vampires use mouthwash? Kenny, you got any idea? Uh, to, to, to get garlic out. To get garlic out? Did you just read what Nick put, or is that what you guessed? That's uh, what, as what <laughs> I get in general. Amy, do you know? No idea? All right, Landon. Tell them. Tell them the answer. Um, they have bat breath. They have bat breath. Ah. Instead of bad breath, they have bat breath. You guys hear me all right? And hear Landon all right? Yeah, I do. I hear you all loud and clear. Okay. I think I think Amy's having issues. All right. Go ahead, okay. Next um, joke. Why didn't the scarecrow eat his dinner? Why didn't the scarecrow eat his dinner? Why didn't the Stop. scarecrow eat his dinner? Why didn't the scarecrow eat his dinner? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Amy? We can't hear you. Because he was out standing in his field. He was too hungry from lunch. We got some guesses coming in. Scared of it. It was frightening. There you go, Scott. That a boy. Scott he got it. Was Correct answer. He, he was stuffed. stuffed. Good job, Scott. Okay. What? <coughs> go ahead. Okay. What is a mommy's <coughs> What is a mommy's favorite music? What is a mommy's favorite music? Hmm. No idea, Kenny? I have no idea. Amy? <coughs> I don't know why we can't hear her, Kenny. Can you hear her? No. Are you muted? All right, there we go. Looks like uh, Booty and Cindy were the first ones to get it. I think Amy said it, but we just couldn't hear her. Actually, it wasn't Booty and Cindy. It was Nick. It was hey, Nick. Nick. Good to see you, buddy. Correct answer. Rap. 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 
All right. What? We still can hear you, Amy. Oh. What do you call a mummy's wait? What do you call a ra reindeer on Halloween? Yeah, what do you call a reindeer on Halloween? Quack, quack. Hey, quack, what's going quack, on, quack, California Travel quack, Videos? Quack, Good to see y'all. Hey, California Travel Videos. Quack, 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 quack. Stop, Lennon. Repeat the question, because all I heard was you making crazy sounds. Um, what do you call a reindeer on Halloween? What do you call a reindeer on Halloween? Dinner? An arcade. No, not dinner. Not. <laughs> hey, Michael and Grace. I wouldn't know. Hey, Michael and Grace. Great show tonight, by the way, Michael and Grace. Dinner? A deer? A deer? Dinner? We can't go trick or treating because there's rain, dear. Oh, Lord. Hi, hi. Hey, Nate. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. It's actually a good answer. Hey, wean deer. We can't go trick or shooting because there's rain, deer. <laughs> All right, go ahead and tell him, Lennon. What do you call a reindeer on Halloween? Caraboo. <laughs> Did you hear him, Kitty? They are. Yeah, I heard him. I can hear I can hear you and uh, Landon pretty good, but I can't I can't hear Amy at all. No. She muted, probably. She doesn't know why. You, you want to exit and come back in? Try that. All right, Landon. Next, next. Uh, okay, okay. Joke. What did the ghost teacher say to his class? What did the ghost teacher say to his class? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What did he? Hey, James, good to see you, buddy. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, James, that hey. All right, now can you hear me? Good. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, Anthony said good delivery on the caraboo joke. <laughs> Tell him thank you. Hey. Don't do that. Stop. Come on. There you go. Do as I see it. <laughs> Anybody know the answer? You got what me. What did the ghost teacher say to his class? You got me on these. Boo. Sorry, guys. It's almost midnight, and I got church in the morning. I'm calling it a night. Hey, thank you so much for being here and hanging out with us. Uh, Booty and Cindy, we really appreciate it. Have a great night and a blessed day tomorrow. Thank you so much. All right, they don't know. Go ahead and tell them, Lennon. Okay. Uh, look at the board and I will go through it again. Look at the board and I will go through it again. Get it? Because ghosts can go through things. Yeah. Get it? I got yeah. you now. All I hear is crickets, Lennon. And they didn't like yeah. that. They didn't like that too yeah. much. They didn't like it. They didn't like that one. All right. Is that a good quick hand question? Come on. What? Oh wait. What? What? Landon, can you listen to this one? This one you'll laugh at. What do you find up a ghost's nose? You messed the ghost up. You said, what do you find up a ghost nose? <laughs> Ghosts. Nose. What do you find up a ghost nose, Kenny? My guess is going to be a booger. <laughs> Kenny got it. A... Kenny got it. Ask him to say his answer again. Booger. Boogers. <laughs> Boogers. Good job, guys. Boogers. All right, last one, Lenny. Adric and I were going to dress up like almonds for Halloween, but that would have been nuts. <laughs> Amy got it. Amy got it. All right. Thank you. Good job, Bubba. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See you, man. I swear. All right. So that's the segment, segment that we do every time we go live on Saturday night. It's called Jokes with Landon. Hope you guys I enjoy that. I should ask a couple questions. 
Um, yes, Dewey's, uh, Ashley's asking a couple questions. Yes, Dewey's on the ship, and no, Paro DJ is not doing a back to back. They're getting off tomorrow. Hey, Kit, good to see you, bud. Hey, Kit. Danny, your Facebook page is falling victim to my pictures swiping to have good and fun pictures on my computer. Oh, no problem at all, Brittany. That's the whole point of it being there for people to enjoy. All right, guys. So we have about probably 30 minutes left. I'm going to go ahead and put this, the, uh, the link in the chat. Anybody wants to come up and, and say hi, hang out with us, tell us about anything exciting y'all have going on, you are more than welcome to do so. We'd love, we'd love to have you all come and hang out with us. Uh, is it is it pinned up there? Can you see, Kenny? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, you ready down there? All right, so first person I see down there in the basement, we all know him. We all love him. He's our favorite mailman. He's about to go on a two-year train ride around the world, and that's our... Uh, <laughs> Great friend, Mr. Nick P. What's going on, buddy? Hey, guys. How you doing? Just getting ready to finish up my last few days of work. Got another friend down here. Finally free. So he got hit. He was able to free himself to come hang out with us. You Except right down there? Except for his ankle bracelet. Except for his ankle bracelet. We know him. We love him. He's our favorite Aussie. Mr. Sean from Down Under Cruisers. Hey, Good day, folks. Sheesh. Good day, Sean. Now, now, now. First of all, Nick, I was told to transfer my ankle bracelets to you. I know, second right? Of all, <laughs> second of all, folks, good day from down under. It's nice to be breathing some fresh air past my front gate. So, how many states does Australia have, Sean? Seven. And how many are open and how many are still locked down? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I lied. I lied. Eight, including New Zealand. Sorry. Yeah. How many what? How many are open and how many are still uh, the key term, uh, doors locked? Thank you. Okay. So the state of New South Wales and the state of Victoria are the two states that are kind of open. Um, uh, Tasmania is relatively open. They've done a, a brief sh shutdown. Queensland is kind of coming, in, coming out of opening. Northern Territory has been open. Western Australia is locked down. South Australia is locked down. As a But Crazy. those two states don't want to tell you that they're actually locked down. They're actually free to move. You can move anywhere within yeah. Western Australia or South Australia. You just can't go anywhere else. Yeah. Well, that's nuts. But, hey, at least you're some more free than you were before. Me, hey, I just – Go ahead. You're not wrong. Uh, we're we're uh, we're really excited to be out and about. And Amy, I'm jealous of you. I bet. Two two cruise Hi. ships, almost back to back. Yeah, he's back, back, Scott. Back. He's back. If you want to ask you? a question, hey, hold on. Did you tell Sean hi? Hi. Nick, hi. Hi. Bye. Hi, Landon. Good day. How are you, buddy? He's asking, "How are you?" Good. That's good. I'm up to don't leave. He's got a question. Scott does. I thought, you, I thought that was the question. No. Scott has a question for you. So, Amy, what's been your favorite part so far of this cruise? Um, The favorite part of this cruise? Yeah. Mm, the horseback riding was like pretty a, cool. Right? Say it again. The horseback riding was pretty cool. Oh, what did yeah. you do that? I did that in Half Moon Key on Wednesday. Wednesday, maybe. Yeah, Wednesday. Uh, that sounds awesome. Good night, Joy. Yeah. I'll Me, have a I video. Just, uh, uh, yeah. Me, I just talked today to Ron C's <laughs> pineapples. Right, Shelly. Shelly Snowball? Yeah. Um, but probably, like, the people on the ship and the crew. The crew's been amazing. Like, the fun squad has been so much fun. Like, 
Martin and Tristan and Alex and Harvey, like Melissa, they've all been really cool. And even the cruise director, Frankie. Do they go They're right fun. back out on the next cruise or do they switch out crews? No, they're on the ship for months. Like, oh, I don't crazy. Know, they've been on the ship. All the ones that I've been talking to have been on the ship since July. And I don't know when they'll get off. But then, even when I was at the airport waiting for the shuttle, and there was a crew member, it was funny. He's sitting there and he's waiting for the shuttle from the airport to the ship. And he's been in quarantine all week. So he gets out tomorrow. And I asked him, I was like, well, what do you do on the ship? And he said that he's a first officer. And he's like, you can say I drive the ship. So he's one of the people right below the captain that. Yeah, that um, controls the actual ship movements. Yeah. Yeah. And he's been in, he had to court, they have to quarantine for seven days. Um, He's in a balcony room so they can at least get fresh air and see sunlight and (laughs) all that. And they're not just stuck in a room with no windows for seven days because that's going to drive anybody crazy. But they get food and stuff, and they're quarantined. And then he gets to come out tomorrow, and he starts work for probably like six months. So, you want to so go in there to this Yes, I'll do it, and I'll win. I too. don't think he's asking if you'll do it. He's asking if it's okay if they tell dad jokes back and forth tomorrow on their live stream. Since you do the jokes, he's asking if if it's okay. For them to do jokes too, if you oh. if you'll allow them to. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, so, thanks for asking. That sounds good. Thank you for asking. All right, get out of here. Love I thought he meant like love me. No, he's not asking you. Yeah. So, so Nick, the average crew member on board ship has a six, nine, or twelve month contract. Generally, yeah. it's about nine months. I gotcha. So they can at least go have some time at home and relax before going back out. Well, no, what they're doing is they're they're working seven day weeks. Um, yeah, they get yep. uh, they like get some. Seven food hours and, a week. Yep, some some short time, which is like hours, um, and then they get two or three months off depending on what contract they're on, and then they back at it again. Gotcha. Yeah. Kenny, um, take, the, take this question from Tim. Danny or anyone on the panel, have, have, have you been to Uranus, Missouri, and been to Uranus Bud Factory? No, no, I never heard of Uranus. I, I've been to Route 66 in Uranus, yeah. <laughs> Kenny loves Uranus. I've been to it. I have, and every time you go into that store, they always say, <laughs> welcome to Uranus, welcome to Uranus. <laughs> Oh, you're making me laugh and cough. cough, cough. It's oh, a cool place. Yeah. I enjoy it, too. It's a cool yeah. little roadside attraction. You love Uranus, Danny? I do. <laughs> they used to have a reptile display at the Blue Whale. I was always afraid of one escaping, so I never went swimming there. It was a public pool. Very cool. That's why they closed the pool. Because one oh. not- um, I just wanted to say good to Ryan uh, earlier on. He said um, good day to both Nick and I, and I missed it. So good day to Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. I'll be meeting. I'll be meeting Ryan in uh, Boston. He's going to be. Uh, he has a spot. He's going to be looking out for my uh, overnight train from uh, DC going up to Boston. Yeah. Now, now, Amy, I got a question for you. Yeah. What? I, I know you had your fantastic Aussie costume. What costume did mm-hmm. Dewey wear? Dewey did not have a costume. What a chicken. He did not participate. He stayed in the piano bar. What a chicken. I'll have to, ta- I'll have to take him up on that one. Yeah, he didn't dress up. So when's your next cruise? But I don't know. What? You're not having another back-to-back? No, well, that's on the side with the bump thing. He is the head. That's the side of the head. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Good to see you. Thanks for coming up with us. You too. You know what I was asking you? you? I know Amy and Kenny. 
And this I'll is Sean. He's our, he's our favorite Aussie from the Down Under Cruisers. Hi. G'day. How you going? And this you is good. traveling with Nick P down here in the corner below below Amy. I'm sure Hi, you've Nick. probably seen him around on a lot of Hi. the chats and probably seen both of these guys around a lot of the chats. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to come up and tell you, you you sent uh, my twin sister a uh, uh, postcard. Your twin sister, Lillian. Yep. I saw that. That's I'm awesome. excited. I'm excited. I added a 34th state to my trip. I'm gonna try my best, my friend. I'm gonna try my best. I know. Like I said, I got my fingers crossed, and I know. Like I said, there, Danny. If it happens, it'd be quick, but still, it'd be better than nothing. Yeah. You hear where he's going? He's he's coming to my state. Oh, oh wow. We get we better get Ruffy there just to make sure that everybody goes well, right? Ruffy's not cool going to be there too. Ruffy's not going to be at home. Oh, he's on a Oh yeah, on he's going to be on Mardi Gras, huh? Yeah. So that's part of it is uh I I had an opportunity to leave Ohio one day early and it's like I've never done the train that goes up at night to Oklahoma City and then down to Fort Worth. So I found a decent deal at a hotel in downtown OKC. So it's like, oh, I'll take the shot. Go to do that. Hopefully say hi to Danny. Bring something Minnesota made so he can do his uh, do an impression of Kenny. And then I have back to Texas the next day. <laughs> hey, um, Nick, you, you want to know something? You and I have something in common. What's that? I've never done any of those train tra train rides Please, either. Scott, take care, buddy. Well, I've done – no, I've done – I've done a majority of these. I've gone probably over 30,000 miles on the train. This one's now over 15,500, maybe pushing 16. I haven't done the math. Well, I can I'm, quite honestly say I've never been on any of, of your train tracks either. Oh, I know. Uh, Tim, I'm not, I will be going through Sacramento, but I won't be stopping. I don't have time. But I have been to Sacramento. That's a beautiful station. I did so that you, about three years ago. So where down under does your train go? Down under? Well, it goes down under everywhere here. Everything, uh, basically the rest of the country is down under from me. That's true, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, Kenny, <laughs> Kenny, Amy, uh, Danny, they're all done down under from where I live. I'll go with that one. I can handle that. But I'm backtracking. I'm going about 1,200 miles out of the way. I'm going uh, out to North Dakota and then back through Minnesota. Going to go have lunch and visit with my brother for a little bit on Thursday. That'd be nice. awesome. Yeah, I haven't seen him for two or three years. Well, now you know how we feel. Yeah. We haven't seen anybody for 264 days and... 35 minutes, seven yeah. hours. But no, the, the, no, it should be neat. Got lining up with hopefully seeing Danny, going to see Ron C's pineapples. Oh, wait, I mean Ron C's America. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Donahue out in uh, Boston. That, that spaghetti ice guy over in Georgia. And get this. Uh, that guy, that crazy guy, Blaine, he's going to be in Minnesota next weekend. And guess where I won't be? That's Minnesota. True. Minnesota. <laughs> and, and, and there's a good reason for that. You know why? Because he's actually going to be bringing the pillows with him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, no, I got some. I did talk to Blaine privately and let him know of some spots he needs to hit. And I'll save those for uh, when he wants to reveal it, if it's a video or just pictures. Speaking of revealing, I'm going to go ahead and reveal our, our travel plans that I said that we had. Um thanksgiving week the wife and i are gonna go on a cruise oh sweet we're gonna we're gonna go on the carnival dream uh, it's gonna leave out of galveston eight day cruise going to oh man nassau freeport bahamas and half moon key i hear good things half about moon the half key. moon key place so and it's, it's the carnival beautiful. dream hey denny yes sir I know a really good cruise going on on the yeah. 15th of October 2022. I know you do. <laughs> Just I saying. I got you. Hey, you so see what? the color? You see the color I got here? 
We haven't yeah. been on a trip that long. <laughs> just the two of us since our honeymoon. Oh, it's right. it's going to be just the two of us. So that's. It's that's good for you guys to spend good time good just the two of you. <laughs> that's awesome. We, we yeah, need Sean, do you see my highlights here? What the heck happened to you? It's highlights. Oh, pink? There you go. Yeah. Do you want to see my highlights? You, what, better, I, you oh. better not show John Chalker <laughs> that, Nick. Yeah, I know, right? right? No, I found like I was posting about or talked about in the live stream a couple of times ago. This one's completely water soluble. Just a little soap and water and it'll come right out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I but I had that with my hair. I know, right? But you you scrubbed a little too hard. No, I didn't. <laughs> Ilana buffed a little bit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> she used to speak and polish. <laughs> So uh, S, what what does the S stand for again? Sandra, right? Yeah, Sandra. 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 Yeah. That's what Where are you from, Sandra? Sure. I live in Portland, Oregon. Oh, I yeah, got you. you. I, w I would love to go to Portland. That'd be amazing. I've been to Portland several times. I love uh, the nasty names they give to the donuts at Voodoo Donuts. <laughs> now there's you a Portland. You want to come here and go to downtown? Yeah. Now, Sandra, for your info, there's a Portland about an hour and a half away from me. What? Portland, Victoria. Have a look at it. Yeah. You guys that are in the chat, if you would for me right now, before I close the show, I'm going to ask each one of these guys to tell me what's going on in their channel next. But I'd also like for you guys that are in the chat and you guys up here on panel with me, if you would, give me some ideas. For next Sunday's, next Sunday's trivia. While you guys are doing that, I want to make this guy full screen again, so he can state one more time for those that may not have been here uh, on our show yet. What's coming up this weekend? So, Ford man, go ahead, buddy. I'm doing a uh, me, uh, the Amer American Wonder fundraiser marathon. Uh, to help raise money for his uh, uh, his dog HD, which is a special needs dog, it's in a boarding place um, that it needs at least twenty four hour care, uh, and and it costs six hundred and fifty dollars a week uh, for it to be boarded, and you know that adds up quick. And also, too, a good possibility that uh, JT, uh, which is also known as the American Wonder on YouTube, um, he he is uh, he had been in the uh, he's been in the hospital for the last 12, 13 days. He just recently got out uh, of of the ICU unit and into a regular and into a regular room. But uh, he's still not out of the. He's still not able to walk or even sit up. Uh, he had a hundred and nine degree temperature when he first went in, and of course he all. And of course we all know he came down with the the McNasty. Uh, what's been going around? Wait, uh, he, he had that. I didn't hear that. What? He, he he was confirmed with the thing that can't be said. Yeah. Did not hear that part. Hey, Crystal, good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah. So, uh, and so I'm looking for uh, still some slot. We're going to do a 48 hour live stream marathon. It's all going to be dedicated towards him. And uh, it's going to be back to back live streams. And uh, I'm still looking for slots to be filled. Uh, I, I need um, the daytime out. Uh, see, uh, I need the ten a the 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 daytime hours on uh, on Sunday is pretty much open, um, and then uh, uh, um, except for the one except for the one to three time slot and the three to four and, and uh 
and so on. Uh, but the daytime slots is still pretty much open. And I also need overnight hours on Saturday. Uh, looking for overnight uh, people. Uh, of course, I could probably do some of the overnight hours. As you know, I can do long live streams. Uh, so, uh, I'm asleep. But, uh, but anyway, uh, if anybody's interested in doing, uh, doing helping out with that um, fundraiser, uh, either contact me by contact me by my email at uh, Kenneth Oaks twenty seven at kenlokes27 at gmail.com or uh, going green mom on uh, uh, on yt at gmail.com so that's her email address and so anyway so uh, it was my idea to come up with this uh, since it really helped out with uh, the papa mozo the papa thon I figured, why not do this for? Uh, and this Edmonton. one too, helping hands for cruising. That was an awesome cruise yeah. thon too. Yes, yes. So, yep. Oh. Um. All right. What about what about this one? Um. So coming up, I still am releasing Carnival Magic videos on the raid parade on fridays i'll be doing carnival pride vlogs here when i get home and they'll be coming out on fridays um i may be going live this sunday may not but then i am going live friday night during for the jt thing um i don't remember what time i'm at um and that's about it right now all right very good what about this guy? Well, I, I kind of have something big that starts on Wednesday going, I don't know, going someplace. But now uh, doing that, my big train trip starts at 10.20 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday when I head out to North Dakota for uh, nearly five weeks of train traveling across the country, going coast to coast, awesome. all the way from uh, here to Chicago, D.C., I'll do it quick. Minnesota, North Dakota, Chicago, D.C., Boston, Cleveland, Chicago, Dallas, Fort Worth, OKC, Dallas, Fort Worth, Chicago, Albany, New York, New York City, Philly, Atlanta, D.C., Chicago, L.A., Portland, Oregon, uh, Pasco, Washington, uh, Glacier National Park, back to Minnesota. Five weeks and uh, halfway through that trip, I will be celebrating my 30th birthday with that spaghetti ice loving guy down in Georgia. Are you going to rent a car in Glacier or how are you going to get around there? Uh, it's just 24 hours in Whitefish because Glacier is really closed. And oh, I have. Be a whitefish? Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. I have. Uh, there's a dollar rental car down at the Gla uh, Glacier Airport in Kalispell right. for about $30 extra on the rental. They'll drop it off at the Amtrak station and use a lockbox. Oh, that's cool. So I got a lock bot. They will lock up a all wheel drive SUV for me that I'll have for 24 hours. And then they just have a uh, key drop that I drop it in before I board the train. Very cool. It's awesome. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say, Nick, you must like Chicago a lot because you're going there three times on your trip. That's what no. I was going to say. <laughs> no, it's because uh, Chicago is where all the trains in the, uh, come together. Any excuse will do. Okay, now now I'm really glad to say that um, these bars behind me are actually going to be um, being nail unnailed and removed because um, on our channel we operate um, two main streams. We do one on on our Saturday, your Friday evenings, at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, and we do one on a Wednesday, which is 8 p.m. our time, which equates to about 4 a.m. your time for those of you that are the insomniacs and we have a great time because what we do is we talk about um aussie cruising our coming our upcoming um uh cr group cruise that we've got happening 
in uh, did I say I have got a group cruise happening in October 2022? Yeah, um, what? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, for those of you that haven't heard of it, like Amy and uh, Danny, particularly, 15th of October to the 23rd of October 2022, coming out of Miami and going around the South Caribbean. So, um, we are, um, we are putting out some videos on. I have done already. Um, we call it kind of a horizon. Here we come. Watch out for that, um, because it's uh, we talk about how we go about packing and planning for our cruise. Because for us, it's not just going from our house to the port to get on the cruise to sail. From uh, for us, it's from our house going to the airport, catching an international flight, coming all the way over to your side of the pond, and then spending some time there so we can get acclimatized and acquainted so that we can go on the group cruise together so pretty much every uh, friday night and every wednesday for those of you across the pond uh, saturdays our times um, a stream and uh, get to know us and we'd love to get to know you and get to see you when we go over there and don't our times change sean when we change our time here soon uh you well, the times will change for, for the uh, Saturday, our Saturday session. You're, uh, and for you, it'll be Wednesday. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. It seems like the Wednesday ones got earlier again. Yeah, yeah. they did. But it's what happened to now for me. Because we, I used we to be won. able to wake up right on time when they started, and now, like, when I wake up, they're already, like, they're at 4 a.m. now instead of 5 a.m. So yeah, so what happened it. was... We, we, uh, you guys were on daylight saving and we were on standard time. Right. We've gone to daylight saving, which adds an hour, and then you guys are going to drop back an hour when you go back to standard time. So we're going to drop back another hour. Oh, lord, so, we'll be at three. No, two a.m. here for yeah, three, huh? Jeez, everybody, four a.m. my time. Oh, wait, no, three a.m. Yeah, so, three so the, the good news for me is this if you guys are not able to come on live. Hey, I'm happy for you guys to just do it on the replay. All comments are read. Some are censored, Kenny. But others, uh, you know, we, we handle, you know, Kenny comes up with some really censored comments. <coughs> like, yeah, yeah. Um, things like, I'm in the wrong chat and um, other no, things like that. <laughs> so, so um, hey, any, any, um, any response, a any communication is great and we love that. And by the way, uh, Danny and uh, Amy, um, thank you for uh, promoting Helping Hands for Cruising because if it wasn't for guys like you, the guy on top of me would not be going on that on that cruise that we're going on. So I appreciate any any um, any assistance you give and uh, how you. Uh, I heard earlier on how you mentioned that once a month you're going to be giving away to a charity. Yes, I uh, I hope that we are one of those that you you decide to to assist yes sir thank you appreciate it all right thank you, you ready much. sandra yeah let's hear about your channel so we're going to go on adventures and possibly do overnight camp in the car we have a wagon a smaller wagon and so we're going to turn that into a place for us to camp so we don't have to pull the fifth wheel behind us. And uh, I go all the way out to Estacada, which is, you know, 19 miles away where I grew up. And there's plenty of nature things to see out there. So I'm going to do some filming out there, too. So hopefully it can bring more content that people will like. That's so, awesome. Very yeah. But that's all pretty right. much what we are so okay. what is what's your channel name Ashley's hawkins, family, hawkins family adventures hawkins family adventures yeah. all right and then for us uh hopefully i'll have a video ready this friday for the raid parade and then I think we're done with our Yellowstone series. So now we'll be working on some videos from Grand Teton National Park. And then I'll we'll be throwing some videos out from from uh, our my my recent Branson trip as well. 
And then the next time we go live will be Sunday, this coming Sunday at 3 o'clock Eastern time. That's Is that instead of Saturday next week? No, Saturday I'll be in Stillwater for the OSU game. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we got our first loss today, e -Hall. And uh, we can't ever beat Iowa State, man. I don't know what the deal is with that, but those darn but, uh, cyclones. Yeah, I'll uh, be I'll be there in Stillwater, so we'll, I'll, we'll I believe Austin works, Danny. Huh? I believe arsenic works. <laughs> we'll we'll go live Sunday at three o'clock Eastern time as part of the uh, whatever Kenny's calling it, the American Wonder Fundraiser Marathon. Fundraiser Marathon. So we'll be live as part of that with trivia. We'll, we'll do 20 trivia questions. Uh, anybody that wants to come up on panel during the trivia is more than welcome to come up and hang out with us. Hopefully, Kenny will be there. Hopefully, Amy might be there. Uh, anybody else? You are? I'll be there. All right. That works. Any, anybody else is more, is more than welcome to, to come up and hang out with us during the trivia. We'd love to have you. And so we'll just I'll be, be on the train in the middle of nowhere, so I doubt I'll have an internet connection. Trying to raise some money for JT and his dog named HD. 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 There you go. He uh, he's in a boarding place and he's a yep. special needs dog and and that boarding place is very expensive. It's six hundred and fifty dollars a week. And uh, and uh, I, I did mean I didn't mean to mention that it's a good possibility. JT is actually looking to looking to get out of the hospital Monday if he passes his uh, evaluation test with his lung doctor. But the thing of it is, if he's still on that stage to where he's not actually able to physically sit up or walk, he's going to have to have some rehabilitation even when he gets out. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, and well, if he, if he the don't, Baltimore, the Baltimore disease is certainly not a nice one for people to get. And if he don't pass his evaluation uh, test, he's looking at at least another five to ten days in the hospital. And keep in mind, he's already been in there at least twelve to fourteen, maybe even more now. So. The fact that he's actually coming out is awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. Especially from a hundred and nine degree temperature. And that that that's that that is uh that is a miracle in itself. Because if it gets hundred and four or hundred and five is right around where it's deadly. Yeah. Well uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's not no joke, people. All right, so anybody that wants to uh, continue watching YouTube, we'll go ahead and send everybody over to Robert. Kenny, would you mind putting that? Oh, good night, Robert guys. In the chat. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, Stan, good to see you, buddy. We're just about to wrap it up. We're going to send everybody over to uh, our good friend Robert, RV Weekends. I saw he's live right now, so we'll send everybody over there. Just tell them it's a Griswold family vacay raid. Uh, thank each and every one of you who came on panel, hung out with me tonight. Thank Thanks you guys having who, us. who played trivia. Thank you guys who enjoy and, and listen to and take time to, to hang out with Landon during his jokes. He loves doing that for you guys. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the jokes as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, be watching for our videos this week and make sure you tune in to the just go ahead and say it, Kenny, because I always forget the darn name. American Wonder. American Wonder. Fundraiser. Uh, Telethon. Fundraiser Marathon. Mr. Seals. Yeah, Fundraiser Marathon. There it is. It's going to be it's going to be starting Friday night at six p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's and it's going to run until Sunday night, uh, seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All so, right. Very cool. And right, there so is the raid link to RV Weekends. It'll take a few minutes to pop up there on the screen yard side, but I did post it in there. All right, so we'll, we'll keep that link posted up while we do our uh, outro. 
and uh, thank you guys so much again. I hope it's a great Sunday, Sean. I hope it's a great Sunday. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. Safe travels tomorrow, Amy, back home. Thank you. And uh, as always, take time to make memories. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much. Good night. Thanks a lot for having us. Well. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. I